Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, I am going to walk you through the process of sharing your personal views in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Personal view is a powerful feature, but what's the point if you can share it? Let's find out how to do that. Before we jump into the sharing process, let's understand where users can find personal views in Dynamics 365 application. Open the drop-down list of views and examine the complete list. The typical icon identifies the personal views, while System View lacks this icon. Additionally, you can click the Information button on the right side. Also, in some Microsoft Dynamics Apps interfaces, there could be just two separate lists with appropriate headers. Now, let's get to the heart of it. How can you share a personal view in Dynamics 65? We've got two options. Firstly, let's explore option A navigating from the modern interface inside the app. Open the corresponding table, expand the Views list, and press Manage and Share Views. To find the necessary view, press three dots and Share. Then select the user, choose Privileges, and press Share. Understanding privileges is a crucial when sharing views. Here's a quick rundown of what each privilege entails. Read allows users to view contents of shared view. Write allows users to modify the shared view by changing the filter criteria or sorting options. Assign, append, append to, create, delete, share, assign row, existing templates, various levels of permissions. You can read about them in our blog post. Please note that this option is not available in all your versions of Dynamics 65 applications. If you don't see the screens I shared earlier, please proceed with option B. To share the personal view from the classic interface inside the app. First, navigate to Advanced Settings. In the upper right corner of the app, on MakePowerApps.com, select Settings button, then Advanced Settings, then Advanced Find button. Second, define your query. Select the table where you want to manage views. In the Advanced Find window, press the Save to Use button. Now you can see the list of views. Select the appropriate view by pressing the checkbox and press Share. Press Add User or Team. Press the checkbox near the user or team you want to share view with. Press Select, then press Add. After that, select the corresponding privileges you want to provide users. Press Share. Now you know how to share personal view and provide appropriate rights. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned. We would love to hear your experience in the comments. Additionally, you can find a lot of exciting information on our blog. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our consultants. We are always here to help.